everyone and welcome to the ninth part of our Pokemon Go recreating in Unity 3. So in this part we are going to focus on the clicking on the Pokemon on the map so we can catch them. So let's start off. I've uh, imported the models in the, into the scene and the thing we are going to add right now is in the uh, part before this we added the Pokemon script. Right now we are going to add a tag Pokemon. If you don't have that, just click on the add tag and just make a new one called Pokemon. Then in our order scene, in our catching scene, go to uh, we can we can import the same models. So I've already done this. I'm going to show you what I've changed. So I've added a mesh renderer, a uh, mesh collider to the objects and then from change the mesh to the to the objects mesh and also be sure where you have the collider here you need to keep the tag for Pokemon also on it and then you can just apply that and put that in a in the resources folder and then in another folder called catch Pokemon Okay, so once I go back to the other scene, I forgot to apply these prefabs like this, and then let's start with the script. So once we are in Mono Develop, go to the Pokemon Manager script, and let's start by importing Unity Engine. That's scene management because uh, we need to import this to change the scenes we are in then we will create a if statement and in this if statement we're going to check if there is a touch and then we're going to check if our input that get touch zero that face is equal to touch face that's stationary So like that, and then we will have to check if Raycast hit. Well, we will create a new variable called Raycast hit, so you can have the information, and then we'll create a new ray. It's camera. The main. That's screen point to ray. And then we'll do the position of our touch. Position. And then we'll create a another if statement which will have the physics of raycast out modifier for hit and i'll get some max distance just like 100 okay so with this line we are going to check if we tap on our monster on our pokeball on our, i mean on our pokemon and once we've touched something we need to check if it's has the Pokemon tag. So if hit the transform, because hit is the the object we've hit, and then the transform is the transform that, and then the tag is equal to Pokemon. So if it has the tag Pokemon, then we'll say Pokemon Pokemon is the component of our hit. So is the transform that gets component and then we'll create a, another function so let's create another function we'll just say or no, we'll call the function Pokemon Battle it's easy to remember we're just going to add a Pokemon type in here So let's finish the if statement. Just say Pokemon Battle. And then with our Pokemon's Poketype. Like that. So now in our function, we're going to add the functionalities so that it goes to the other sheen. But how are we going to do this? with passing through the 
type of our Pokemon. So we can what we can do is save our type to a string and then we'll save that in our player prefs. So player prefs that set string. And then we have to put a key and then the value. Well the value can already fill that in, which will be T. And for our key we'll just call it Pokemon key. Like that. And then once we've done that we want to change the scene. So scene manager that loads scene and we want to go to the catch scene. So if you get an error right here, go back to Unity and be sure that you've changed the go to your build settings and be sure that you've put both scenes into the scenes in build. Okay, so let's go back to Mono Develop. So now that we are actually back in Mono Develop. We're done with the script, but I forgot to change one thing in, in our Unity project. So, uh, go to our resources and to our map Pokemon. And I forgot to add a box collider to them. And let's just make sure that this box collider is a good size. So, like that, that's fine. And then just apply that again. Okay, so once we've done that, let's start up. I've just connected with Unity remotes, so let's just wait until a Pokemon spawns. So if I click on the Pokemon, it will go to the other scene. And right now, nothing is happening because we didn't fix the Pokemon spawning yet. So let's do that just right right now. So. I've already created a new script, and this new script will be called Pokemon Spawner. So once we go to Mono Develop, there are a couple of things added. There are the public static void run, a void start, and I've also imported the Unity engine management. So now what we are going to do. So the start function will obviously start when the game, when the scene starts. So we'll say the T is our player press dot get string and our Pokemon key. This way we can tell that we have the uh, what Pokemon we we clicked on. Then we'll add a game object prefab. This will just load our resources. So resources that load. Then our path so catch. Pokemon, which is the folder, and then plus T, and it's that type of a game object, and then again as game object. Then we'll create a new game object, which will be called Pokemon, and this will just be an instantiated version of our prefab, and we will spawn it on this position, so transform the position and the rotation will just be ident returning the identity and then don't forget to do it as a game object and then so once we have the game, uh, the Pokemon we'll say Pokemon.transform that set parent to this parent, so do this transform I mean and then We'll just have to change the rotation in my case. So Pokemon transform the local rotation. This different is there's a difference between objects. So you might need to uh, experiment a little with the rotations if there's something wrong with it. So 90F, 180F, and 0F. And then uh, let's also just fill the, the public static void run, which will just be, oh, which will just be scene manager that load scene and then called world. Um, let me look if I've done everything. 
Oh yeah. After we've started the if after the start function we'll just delete the old key. Which player prefs dot delete key. And then a Pokemon key. Like that. Okay, so let's go to Unity. So let's go to our catch scene and then just add the script to our zoom object. So I've already did that. Zoom object and then Pokemon spawner, just add the script to it. Because it will be this object will be the parent of our Pulsar chairman of our squirtle. So let's just go back to our world and check if this works. So let's wait until Pokemon spawns. Okay, yeah, Charmander. So as you can tell, a Charmander now spawns into the scene. Well, for the next episode, let's just create. Well, we will create the Pokemon catching. So where you can throw the ball at the Pokemon, and you have a chance if you catch it or not. So until then, see you guys into uh, see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to like the video, and if you haven't subscribed yet. Please subscribe, it really helps, uh, helps me out. So, see you guys later. Bye.